our first find for today. It's a little bit of silver, a piece of a pocket watch. Inside of it, it's a little bit goldy. Perhaps it's gold gilded, I don't know. Nice find. Not five minutes ago, I found uh, the rim of the pocket watch. Now I found the piece of the lid. And it's hallmarked, I can see it. It's, oops, uh, it's brittle. It's point 100, uh, 800. It's been long here, I'm sorry. So, here you can see the hallmark. Yeah, perhaps two grams of silver, not so bad. Moving on. Yeah, this looks kind of promising. I don't know if you can see, it's like here. It looks like a silver... Ooh la la la, ooh la 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 la. There's something attached. It's a silver chain with a pendant. Ooh. Ooh, it's a girl, a nice girl again. It's on the other side is something, no. But this is silver for sure. Look how it, sorry, look how it cleans. Marvelous. Here's a little ring. Yeah, it looks like a bracelet. Yeah, it's heavy. And it's, sorry again, look here. It's silver for sure. Wow, what a nice find. Art Nouveau, I would say. Woohoo, nice one. Moving on. Oh my God, I did it again. I stumbled on that one, and I know exactly what that is, and you know too. It's 5 mark, 90% silver. Wow, with the garrison church of Potsdam. Is it special? No, it's not. But anyway, <laughs> look at the imprint, you can clearly see the church. Here is the tower. Woohoo! 72 years, it's lying in the ground, or 71. Wow! What a beauty! Moving on! No, actually not moving on, I just wanted to show you the cleaned one. So here it is, it's a pain in the butt. Filming with the mobile, but yes, I said before. The other camera broke. 1934. Very nice. All right, now moving on. Wow. There. I just managed to not hit it, I guess. Kind of a pendant. It looks kind of beautiful. Oh no, it's a clasp of some kind. I don't, I guess it's just copper, but it's nice. I'll clean it and show you. Yep. Kind of a clasp. Yeah, I don't know what it was for. Hair, perhaps. I don't know. Kind of nice. Moving on. It's copper, 
by the way. Moving on. Good morning. My first target is uh, seldom one. It's a uh, Papa Shah magazine, a round one, with all the ammunition still inside. I won't take it though, because uh, uh, I don't need it. All right, uh, nice one, but. Uh, not a keeper, that's it. Okay, moving on. I made an amazing find. I uh, dug a trash hole and found these. I guess they're medicine bottles. Here's still something inside. Um, this was a metal object. It's kind of a handle to a pot. Or even a dagger could be possible. Then I found a broken vinegar bottle and some china shards. But the best thing is, I found a whole vial of pervitine. I guess it's pervitine. Because the size and everything, it fits. And according to the vial I found the last hunt, this is pervitine. Pervitine is crystal meth made for the German Wehrmacht. Known as Panzerschokolade, tank chocolate, or... Uh, Ah, oh, I forgot. This is an amazing find. I found what seems to be an old uh, suitcase tag. It's amazing because the name is Gustav Wittenberg, Berlin 017, which is the Postleitzahl, I don't know the English word, and he lived in Stralauer Allee. 23, 23, as we all know, is the magic number. Funny thing is, I have a friend who lives in Stralauer Allee, but not in 017. They have totally different area codes, is what I'm looking for. Postleitzahl is area code. So this is old. 017 is uh, Weimar Republic and Nazi Germany. It was pretty deep as well, and uh, yeah. Let's say one and a half pinpointer. So I'm, um, I hammered this place. So I only found find the uh, deep stuff now. But let's see what else there's to find. Moving on. It seems I found my first silver coin, but it's look, it's tiny. It's uh, it's ten cent, and I think it's uh, from the Netherlands. There's a bust. Wait. This new camera is shitty. Koning in the Netherlands, yeah, Koning. Koning in the Netherlands. So, it is what I think it is. It's 10 cent with a guy on it. Can't read the name. Maximilian... I don't know. Um, nice. I hope I'll find a bigger one. Uh, next. So, moving on. Flew right out of the hole. Um, don't know if you can see. Yes, you can. It's a yeah. Most probably it's a chunk ring, but it's a ring. Let's clean it and show you. Well, if these were genuine, uh, you wouldn't hear from me anymore. <laughs> but it's a copper ring. Pretty mangled. It was gold gilded once, but anyway, jewelry, as you all know, is always appreciated. Moving on.
on brass knuckles. No, not brass, it's aluminium by the way, but that's an amazing find. More than happy with that. It's, you know, it's totally devastated, but yes, kind of find I was looking for. Yeehaw, moving on. And I found my first good find today. Look at that. Yeah. I did find that um, at another spot two years ago. So I know what it is. It's a Prussian um, Landbund order. It's a Prussian eagle, white, black. And there used to be a part attached to it. I think it was, oh sorry, beneath it. Uh, let's check if this is here. I will clean that, that will clean marvelously. And show you, it's enameled, it's beautiful crest actually. All right, clean it and show you. Look how the enamel isn't disturbed at all. If I put polystol in it, it will, you know, shine and the black will be deep black again. Yeah. I love those old Prussian stuff. Okay, the backside isn't too bright, but yeah, loving it. I hope the new camera turns out quite all right. It's not a cheap one, but you know the pictures in the in the display doesn't look that good. So let's see how this turns out. All right, moving on. Found a counterpart of a buckle here and it's with uh, oak leaves which is from a Feldbinde. You see here uh, RZM Reichszeugmeisterei M4 is the maker, 64 is what it is. So um, I found a Feldbinde Sunday's uh, uniform belt buckle once of a SS officer. This is a counterpart, so happy to find it, but uh, where's the buckle? I'm gonna search. I want the buckle. All right, moving on. I found a Nazi badge, and I know what that is. It's obviously the it comes in the form of an iron cross, but the sword within the little iron cross and the swastika, I think I know it's um, for the wounded. It's an organization for the wounded or the, the yeah, the wounded front uh, fighters of World War One, I, I guess. I will research that and certainly I show you. It's pretty cheap. It's cheapest aluminum. And there was a needle. And that was it. But the sign with the sword. I know. That will not clean at all. This is <laughs> this is it. Alright. Nice find. Found some kind of a badge. 
it's a tank. Oh, but I guess it's modern Russian soldiers had it. This is not a World War II tank with a rocket or something like that on top of it, but it looks pretty modern. Yeah, perhaps a shoulder title or a label. Something like that. But anyway, nice find. Moving on. Finally, I found my first silver coin for today. It's a strange one, I never found this before. I guess. There it is. I guess it's a uh, Latvian or something like that. It, v one Viennas Litas. And on the other side is a horseman. Liet was. I can read 1925. The other thing I can't read. So, is it silver or not? It came in with the 86, which could be, but it would be a low grade of silver. And how it cleans, it looks more like it could be nickel. So, if it's magnetic, it's nickel. Um, I will tell you in the picture right after this footage, as usual. Bye bye. No, no, <laughs> moving on. And a marvelous find at the end. Look at that. It's another Garde. Garda breast patch of the Soviet army. I already found two of them. Oh, I'm sorry. But the animal looks disturbed here. But anyway, wow, what a find. I went to um, research some structures I found on Google Earth and uh, I'm totally in the middle of the forest and uh, you, I, I stumbled upon it. It's not that I researched this area here, but that is amazing. I will show you in a picture and will, this will clean marvelously. Wow! What a find! Woohoo! Moving on. <laughs> 